Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be teaching you on how to get, well, how to essentially get money in sandbox mode on Rollercoast Tycoon 3, which is called a custom map, but, you know, whatever. Let's get to it. Okay, the first thing you gotta do is go to Tools and click on Custom Scenario. And then you have to wait for that to load. Okay, so once we're in, you can move around and whatnot as you normally do. But you want to go up to the third option on the right up here, and you're gonna, you're gonna click on the Choose Finances button, and you want to uncheck the box that says Unlimited Money. And now you see we have now have zero dollars. Now you probably need some money, so you're going to either tap the button a whole lot of times, or you could just click and drag the number until you have what you want. So let's um, for example, I want five thousand one hundred dollars. There you go. So once you have that, you, you're pretty much good to go. You can go over here, you can press save button, and you can, I don't know, let's call it um, Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 vid. There you go. And you can save, and then you're pretty much good to go. But, let's say you want to do some other complicated things, as well as just money. Okay, well the first thing you can do is you can go up to set park land and let's say I want to do this one so that area of land can be bought by the park so you know let's say gonna put in a tree in a another tree in a and a carnivorous lily there you go so if you buy that land in the game with the money you have you can buy that land you can also change the land purchase costs here, so let's say I want to make all of the 1 meter by 1 meter cubes of land, $25. There you go. And, as well as that, you can also choose the objectives. So what you do with the objectives, is you go to this one, the Choose Objectives button on the right, and you click on the little hat, and you want to say, uh, I want the objective to, uh, I don't know, get some park. So I want to have, once I reach mm, 75 guests in the park, uh, what will happen is we can unlock land for purchase. And and I'll call it, I don't know, my video. There you go. Okay, so once you've done that, I'm going to save again. Press the save button and overwrite the one that I have there. Yes, overwrite that. And then I'm going to test it. How I'm going to test it is first, I'm going to quit. And then, I'm going to go to play, custom scenario, start game, and then choose the one which you just built, or have previously built, and then wait for it to load. Once it is loaded, you can see it's instantly in the same view as we left it off. And you can see, there are now people coming in. Okay. So, once we have 75 people, we can purchase this land. And you see, we also have money. So, let's spend some of that money and demonstrate what happens. I am going to buy burgers. Why not? Okay, so how you manage money, all you need to do is go to the sold items, and then you can change the value of each thing. So let's say I want a standard burger to be 10 cents. There you go. And so everyone who buys a burger will be 10 cents. Park inspector? Don't you dare say things are too cheap. Don't dare. Don't dare. Good. Good park inspector. I'm gonna scratch you. So here we go. Somebody's buying something. So, come on. No? Oh, she doesn't like it. Okay. So, if you go to finances, if somebody was to buy something, you would get a projected income. And you would also get a running cost and a projected profit. Projected pof profit is the main uh, number you want to look at. If all of your rides, roller coasters, and um, food outlets uh, have, have a not negative projected profit, then you're pretty much gaining money from that. If they all do have negative um, money, then that you'll be losing money. Okay, so, once you re we reach 75 people... That happens. And that means that extra land is now available for purchase. 
and so if you go to click on the main entrance and click on buy land for park you can buy land for the park which you have set so I want to buy all of this and there you go I've spent most of my money but I now have if you can see I doubt you can see it's it's at a light so if you can see I have now purchased land and I can build on it and everything hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later while well, I'm just going to keep nice and warm by the fire ah lovely